So why don't we start on the 75th day by your assessment of what has happened in these first um, few months? Well, I think it was captured pretty well by a Los Angeles Times editorial, which simply called it a train wreck. Uh, but it's very consistent, very systematic. Uh, anything that can be of assistance to ordinary people, working people, uh, middle class people, uh, uh, people on the street, any such uh, program has to be decimated. Uh, anything that uh, adds to uh, wealth and power or that increases uh, the use of force that that we carry forward. And it's done with uh, this kind of a two-tiered system working, uh, I presume consciously, so systematic it's hard to question. Uh, the uh, Bannon-Trump team uh, wants to make sure that they uh, dominate the headlines. So whatever they do, that's what people look at. And one crazy thing after another, the assumption apparently being you'll forget the old ones by the time the new ones come in. So no one talks anymore about the uh, three million illegal uh, immigrants who voted for Clinton. That one we've forgotten. We're on to the next one. Then we'll go on to the next one. While this is going on in front, the Paul Ryan style uh, uh, budgetary and planning uh, operations are going on quietly in the back, uh, ripping to shreds uh, any element of government that uh, can uh, help uh, people uh, uh, either today or tomorrow. That's the point of the uh, destruction of the environmental system. Uh, it's not just the EPA, which was slashed. The, uh, most of the uh, environmental programs are actually in the Energy Department, and their uh, research and uh, activist programs were slashed uh, very seriously.